This is Karen Fisher, is my case manager. I was raised there with my stepdad and my mom. Then, then she passed away with cancer a year, couple years, about several years later. Then I re then I got we con uh, got talked to my uh, real father. He came back. I didn't know nothing about him. He got showed up on the front doorstep. But but he had a, some type of disability. I wasn't sure what 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 really went down because I I was a baby when I was taken away. About five months old. Then he passed away when I was in in the house fire in the and in Richmond, Indiana. Then my stepdad passed. He was the one that was raising me. And so I didn't really, really acknowledge my real dad as dad because he wasn't there. And my stepdad passed away with cancer. Then I got stuck in the nursing for, for a while. About a year and a half. Mm-hmm. It was not fun. Uh, Dan became my uh, legal guardian while I was in the nursing home. He got me, finally got me out, but it took them a while. I've worked with Jamie for about seven years now. So when she first started on the waiver about seven years ago, when she was coming out of the nursing home, we found her home and some roommates mm -hmm. and got services started for her. Um, and she started out working at the workshop um, there, but she was pretty adamant right away. She wanted to get a job in the community as well. Um, so that was one of our first big goals for her. Well, I went to the Ocean Green. It's a, a new hotel at, in, close by the Children's Museum, Courtyard court Mola. It, it's a newly uh, built uh, hotel. And students get to stay there for a couple months and they graduate and some of them will get a job, like I did. I got uh, a job at the hospital because I was working really hard, showing them I can do it. And the, the main, the big leagues came down to see me. They liked how I was persevering no matter what. I got kept on going. He did. She got lots of positive feedback for her work. She was a hard worker and she definitely stood out in her class. But now I'm working full time at the hospital, getting health benefits, getting the benefits as well, and getting the hours, and also making it really good. Uh, environmental services, house, housekeeping, I clean the patient's rooms, and I also clean the uh, visual areas and restrooms. They just recently came up with that support decision making about a couple of years or so, or something. I was in the, I went to the Disability Can uh, Government Council, and that where I first heard about it. And, and they were also, they appointed me as being the first one because I was working really hard to meet some of the goals and learn how to do things a lot. Well, I had to like learn how to be independent, learn how to think, think for all my feet, and a lot of my staff helps me get to that point, and my guardians. Yes, we went to the the courthouse in in Richmond, and we we went, went to the courthouse and get and show tell them about the support decision made, and we and show tell them that how that I'm capable to do this. Yeah, her team testified on her behalf, her guardian and myself. Um, and just talked about all the accomplishments she's made and um, just that she's got a good head on her shoulders. She's capable of making decisions on her own mm -hmm. and we're all gonna be there to support her in different ways, um, mm -hmm. but it's a good thing for her. Well, hopefully I can one day get married and also keep the same job I will get, that I work hard. And hopefully I can help somebody else. What advice do you have for others who would like to pursue a supported decision-making agreement? I say give it a shot and also we'll call for it. If, if you're not there yet, keep on working, be, do a self-determination, don't let nothing stop you. If you're not good at something yet, but you can learn the skills and practice and learn, and learn many things and help 
and learns what help what the what your strength and your weakness. That how sometimes that how you overcome it. Uh, Jamie's just always been a go-getter. She's always been really positive. She's always had a goal, something she's wanted to achieve, and mm -hmm. she's been great to work with. So I'm really proud to be her case manager. Mm -hmm.